Hello friends, welcome to RAW online lecture series of Neurophysiology. Today we are going to see about a very important structure of the brain which has got control of almost all the functions of our body that is hypothalamus. Let us walk into it. So we will be learning about the nuclei of hypothalamus, its related functional anatomy, connections of hypothalamus within the brain and outside the brain and we will be seeing in detail about the functions of hypothalamus. You know hypothalamus is a subcortical structure which is present in the diencephalon of the brain. It is present just below the thalamus. Okay. So in front of the hypothalamus you have got optic chiasm and behind you have got mammillary body that is the extension of the hypothalamus. And this hypothalamus forms the floor of the third ventricle and also the anterior inferior wall of the third ventricle. The weight of hypothalamus is just 4 grams. You might wonder with this just 4 grams, how is it possible for it to do various functions of our body? This is the sagittal section of the brain showing the hypothalamus structure. You can see the hypothalamus is situated here. Just above is the anterior commissure. You can see the fornix and the corpus callosum lying above. Okay, This is a pituitary gland. This area is the hypothalamus. Okay, so it extends just above will be the optic chiasm and behind will be the mammillary bodies. It will be better in the next picture if I show it. Yeah, this is a picture of the uh, lateral surface of the brain. You can see this is the hypothalamic nuclei, cluster of the nuclei and here you have got the anterior commissure which comes and ends or just before the hypothalamus. This is pituitary gland and here you have got the optic chiasm. This is the mammillary body, the same as the extension shown here. So the hypothalamus is nothing but a group of nuclei, cluster of nuclei. There are various group of nuclei of hypothalamus. We can see it is classified as anterior hypothalamic nucleus, posterior hypothalamic group, medial group and lateral hypothalamic group. Okay, so there are five nuclei in the anterior hypothalamic group. They are preoptic nuclei, paraventricular nuclei, supraoptic nuclei, suprachiasmatic nuclei, and anterior hypothalamic nuclei. In the posterior hypothalamic group, we have got posterior hypothalamic nuclei or posterior hypothalamic area and mammillary nucleus. In the medial hypothalamic group, we have got dorsomedial, ventromedial, and arcuate nuclei and in the lateral hypothalamic nuclei we have got lateral hypothalamic nuclei. So let us draw the different nuclei of hypothalamus with this. I hope you all can follow with me. So let me draw first the outline or the extension. So this is the one I am drawing the pituitary gland. Okay. So this is the outline. It is broken here. We can complete it. Yeah. So I am going to draw the, uh, I am going to mark the parts first. So this is optic chiasm. This is the anterior lobe of pituitary. This is the posterior lobe of pituitary. Here is the median eminence. Okay. Or we can even uh, mark it little bit lower. So here is the median eminence. This is the mammillary body. Mammillary body. Okay. So now we'll draw the various group of nuclei. We'll just uh, go for the anterior group of nuclei first. So the first nuclei I'm going to draw is the suprachiasmatic nucleus SCN. Suprachiasmatic nuclei. Then you've got the pre supraoptic nuclei just behind it. Okay? And in front of the suprachiasmatic nuclei and above it will be a bigger preoptic nuclei pre-optic nuclei and above the supraoptic and suprachiasmatic nuclei you have got the anterior hypothalamic area or anterior hypothalamic nucleus okay and just sitting on top of this anterior hypothalamic nucleus is the periventricular nucleus okay so this is about the anterior group of nuclei then we'll draw the medial group of nuclei we'll choose different color for this and uh, we can select it yeah so the medial group starts at the base you have got the 
arcuate nucleus okay and just above the arcuate nucleus you have got a bigger uh, what is that um, ventromedial nucleus and on top of that will be the dorsomedial nucleus okay and then comes a posterior group of nucleus where you have got the mammillary bodies here this is the mammillary body so the mammillary a posterior group i am choosing separate color so the mammillary bodies form the lowermost to posterior nucleus there are two nuclei medial mammillary body lateral mammillary body and on top of that will be the posterior hypothalamic nucleus okay in between there is pre mammillary body that is almost hidden so there is a lateral hypothalamic nucleus is hidden behind this so these are the cluster of nuclei that forms the structure hypothalamus it is closely related to optic chiasm and it is closely related to anterior pituitary and posterior pituitary in this i must draw the connection between the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland uh, there is one uh, blood vessel okay so that blood vessel is going to this hypothalamus like this okay this is nothing but the superficial hypophyseal artery okay and here in the median eminence it forms a plexus okay so this is a plexus and again it enters into the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland where it forms again a plexus or this is what is called as hypothalamo hypophyseal portal system so this is the portal system here okay so this is the hypothalamo hypophyseal portal vessels this is superficial 